After many, many failed attempts of getting signed by record deals, Jay-Z, along with Damon Dash and Kareem Burke, started their own record label, Rockefeller Records, in 1996. He released his first album later that year. He then started getting attention from several senior executives at several record labels, such as Kevin Lyles, who at the time was a senior executive at Def Jam. During an interview with the Wall Street Journal, Kevin Lyles told the interviewer they tried to sign Jay-Z through a traditional signing deal, to which the rapper replied, I own the company I rap for. Instead of signing with Def Jam, Jay-Z and his partners sold half of their record label to Def Jam for $1.5 million a year later. In 2004, seven years later, they sold Def Jam the other half for $10 million with the agreement that Jay-Z would remain as CEO for three more years. 